Advanced Gunslinger Armament here. Today we're doing a video on reconfiguring your left-handed hit sling for a right-handed shooter. On the table before me I have the Mark II as evidenced by the pull knob QD in the one-inch webbing. This is the Desert Digital pattern with an HK hook as the primary attachment. The first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is lay out your hit sling so that your attachments are away from you. Your primary attachment is going to be on your left. Your secondary attachment is going to be on your right. Next, we're going to trace out the webbing that leads to our primary attachment. So go ahead and remove it from that plastic triglide. Next, you're going to remove it from the T-buckle by pushing up and through the top slot of the T-buckle and then pulling it down and through the bottom slot of the T-buckle. Next, go ahead and completely remove your primary attachment. Then you're going to continue to remove that webbing by pushing up and through the bottom slot of the T-buckle and then pulling it down and through the top slot of the T-buckle so that when you finish, you have an open sling. After that, you're going to want to go ahead and flip over your T-buckle. Then you will do the same with your sling itself. And this is the important part is with your tensioner, you're going to want to rotate it under and set it on its side so that the pull tab is on the left outermost portion of your sling. At that time you can go ahead and trace around the webbing to make sure that there's no twists. And you're going to grab with your right hand the end of the webbing and rotate over like so. And you're going to take your T-buckle in your left hand. You're then going to push up and through the top slot of the T-buckle. And then down and through the bottom slot of the T-buckle. At that time, you'll take your primary attachment and you will peel back the small portion of the elastic protective covering. You will then take the end of your webbing and you will push it up and through the primary attachment itself. Slide the primary attachment down until it's about a one inch distance from your T-buckle. At that time, take the end of your webbing and you're going to push it up and through the bottom slot of the T-buckle. And once you've done that, go ahead and peel down that elastic protective covering. Then continuing on with your webbing, you'll push it down and through the top slot of your T-buckle. And with the excess webbing you have, we're going to stow it using our plastic tri-glide. As always, up and through, over, down and through, and then all the way over, down and through again. So it looks like so. Now with our hit sling completely figured for a right-handed shooter, the shooter will punch in their left arm up and over their head and onto their right shoulder. You know that it's configured for a right-handed shooter because the pull knob QD is on your left-hand side and your primary attachment is up near your firing hand. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. When you're ready to get the best sling on the market, do so at www.advancedgunslinger.com.